What's up, Odooers? Nathan here with another Odoo tutorial. With Odoo's fully integrated calendar app, you can create, view, and edit meetings from the calendar app itself or the records chatter. So let's dive into our database to see how easy it is to create a meeting using Odoo Calendar. Of course, I can click into the calendar app from the main Odoo dashboard to view my own calendar and create events. But because that app is fully integrated, I can also schedule meetings directly from the chatter of any record. So let's jump into the CRM and see how that would work. Each record in Odoo has a chatter section. For example, if I click into the 5VP chairs card, the chatter shows us any updates, messages, log notes, or scheduled activities related to this record. To create a new meeting from here, all I have to do is click on activities and change the meeting type to meeting. Now let's enter a summary for the meeting topic by typing service presentation for ReadyMat in the summary field. Then when I click open calendar, Odoo will save the activity and redirect me to my calendar in the Odoo calendar app. I also need to add my team member, Lori, to attend this meeting. To see Lori's schedule, I just need to add her to the attendees list here on the right sidebar. All I have to do is click add attendees and then type Lori in the field and then select her from the drop down menu. This will make Lori's schedule visible to me so I can find a time that works for both of us. Adding Lori to the attendees list on this calendar page does not schedule an activity in her calendar. It simply just shows me her availability. So to create a new calendar event, I can either click this new button here in the upper left corner or click directly on the slot I want on the calendar. So I'm gonna schedule this meeting for tomorrow at 10 a.m. To do that, I'm just gonna make sure I'm in the week view and then I'll click on 10 a.m. for tomorrow's time slot. Which presents me with a new event pop-up window that I can use to make any additional adjustments to the scheduled event. Thanks to Odoo, the meeting subject automatically populates based on what I initially entered as the summary on the activity pop-up from the chatter a moment ago. At this point, I can go ahead and click Save and Close to quickly put this on my calendar, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click More Options to configure additional details. Doing so reveals a separate page with even more ways to customize the scheduled event. Now, remember how I had Lori selected under the attendee section of the calendar app? If you recall, that only shows me her calendar events and when she's available. It doesn't just automatically schedule her to anything. So it's time to add her as an attendee for the specific meeting, which does schedule an event in her calendar. To do so, I'll type Lori in the selected attendees dropdown field. And then select her. I can also add my client from here since I have their contact info in my database. To do so, once again, I'll select the Select Attendees field, and this time I'm going to add my contact from ReadyMat, specifically Billy Fox. Great. From this meeting form, I can also edit the start and end times or mark this as an all-day event. I'll make sure to set the duration to two hours by typing two in the duration field. When I click away from the field, you'll see that Odoo automatically updates the end time of this meeting. And if this meeting is going to be recurrent, I can tick the corresponding recurring box. From here, I can configure when the meeting repeats and how many times. Also, if this meeting is going to be in person, I can quickly set a location here as well. Or if it's an online only meeting, we can add a video URL. And since it is going to be a virtual meeting, all I have to do is click the plus Odoo meeting, which automatically generates a video URL from the Odoo Discuss app, Odoo's integrated messaging and video chat application. And you can see there's now a join video call button as well that me and Lori can use when it's time for the meeting. Also, from this meeting form, I have the option to add any tags that I want for easy recognition and additional categorization. So let's add the tag customer meeting just so everybody knows what the meeting's about. We also have some privacy settings that we can adjust. I can change this meeting to show me as busy or available on the calendar. I can also choose if this meeting is going to be public, private, or for internal users only. Now for the organizer, I've left it as Mitchell admin, but I can set it to any user in the database. We can also add a short description. So as you can see, no matter what you need, Odoo has you covered. And maybe you're like me and need a constant reminder about meetings. If so, you can easily set those reminders here. Let's add a new reminder. To do that, I'll click into the reminder field and select the email six hours option from the drop-down menu. 
This particular reminder will send an email to all attendees six hours before the meeting starts. I can also create and edit new reminders directly from this form if needed. But I'm pretty happy with these settings, so I'll go ahead and click email to invite all my attendees to this meeting. When I do, Odoo will automatically use the preloaded calendar event template for the email, which I can edit however I'd like, but I'm okay with how it looks, so I'll just go ahead and click send. Now let's navigate away from my new meeting by clicking on the meetings breadcrumb button here in the upper left. Now all I have to do is wait for my attendees to confirm the invitation, but as you can see, my changes are automatically saved. I can see the event on my calendar for myself and Lori. And if I click into it, I can see the summary of the event details. If needed, I can edit the event or even delete it. I can also see that I've accepted this meeting with the green check mark next to my avatar. We'll also see the notification schedule on the pop-up summary, along with any tags that we've added, as well as the organizing company. I can also click this video pop-up for the join video call button to easily redirect me to the specific video chat in the Odoo Discuss app to talk about staying connected. Now, let's say that we want to go back to the five VP chairs record via the breadcrumbs here. And look at this. Our meeting is now added to the chatter under the planned activity section. And I can see the meeting in the next meeting smart button directly above. From the chatter, we can also mark this as done, reschedule the meeting, or even cancel it. Pretty cool, right? And there you have it, folks. As you can see, Odoo makes setting up and scheduling meetings from a record super simple. With Odoo, I can check other users' calendars in just a few clicks and schedule a time that works for everybody. I can also rest easy knowing I have configured reminders that will automatically be sent to all my meeting attendees. That's all for now, but feel free to check out our other tutorials and documentation to learn even more about activities. Thanks for watching.